Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. Stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit today, we're going to take a look at a truck that, well, one that isn't quite like the ones that we've shown you before. This is a 2006 Freightliner M2. 106. The truck has just a touch over 75,000 miles and it is four wheel drive. This truck was designed, well, basically to get a little bit of work done. This truck uh, has a wheelbase of 189 inches. The GVWR is 33,000 pounds. So, as you can see, it's more of a cabin chassis a flat bed on the back and as we take a closer look here in a little bit we'll show you some different type of hitch options that you have there is a storage contain compartment located here underneath here are the batteries now since the truck is four-wheel drive it is a little bit taller but still has the running boards to assist you to get up and in. Now, as we walk on forward and take a look directly in front, we see the fog lights located here and here. The bumper is still broken into three parts. So if we get into an accident and ding this one up, we can swap that section out without having to redo the entire bumper. You see the grill, the Freightliner badge located right there. Now as we take a look under the hood, that is the Mercedes 900 also known as the MBE 900, Mercedes Built Engineered. This offers 330 horsepower, 850 foot-pounds of torque. The Mercedes engine was designed and built in Germany and was released to North America in 1998. This is an engine that has proven over the test of time to be a durable, very practical engine that lasts a long time. Some things under here we can see. Here's where we add the power steering fluid. And we can see this way the suspension is designed under here. We did put brand new tires on it. Yokohama's 31580R22.5. Block heater located here. Now one big advantage to this truck is the size of the fuel tanks. There's 100 gallons right here and 80 on the other side. Now, as the truck is sitting there, that fuel is going to balance itself out. However, you're going to want to fuel your truck up and do that independently. As we take a look inside, it does have air seats and those can be adjusted right here. We can see the trailer brake located over here. Now, when you go to start your truck, you're going to want to turn that key about halfway. Let those gauges go all the way over and reset themselves and then go ahead and start the truck. As we continue on and take a look at the back seat, 
It comes with a bench seat. And as you can see, there's a ton of room up here to make the ride more comfortable. Now, as we go on, the newer four-wheel drives are all single wheel axle. This is a dually. So that's gonna help in terms of suspension when you're towing those heavy loads. As we take a look directly behind the vehicle, we can see the hitch for a bumper pull. Now as we come up and take a look here, so this truck doesn't have a hitch in there. So that enables you to put whatever hitch you would like in there. An example would be, we can put a plate in there and put a gooseneck ball right there for you. So that's kind of designed and we left it that way so the customer can pick whichever hitch they choose to put in it. One thing I did want to mention, since this truck is a little bit older, financing through us is gonna be an extreme challenge just simply because of the age of the truck. The mileage is great, only 75,000 miles. So if you do need to finance the truck, you'll either have to go get your own bank or finance institution to do that and simply make it a cash deal. But we'll make it as simple as possible for you. As we take a look, At that storage bin, that lid simply drops down. And you can see there is a lot of storage in there. As we take a look at the passenger seat, you can see it comes with floor mats here. This too is also air. This gives us access to the cab air filters. As we take a look here, again, bench seat. Here's the airlines for the front seats as well. And a floor mat running the length of the back seat. So let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Again, you can see that this truck was designed basically for work. Maybe not the bells and whistles as some of the haulers that we have, but one that's extremely practical as well. Over here, is the fog lamp as mentioned it comes with well it does come with the allison five speed transmission which is automatic and it's very simple to drive so r for reverse n for neutral and d for drive right now we are in neutral with the parking brake on this is for the windows mirror heaters located here this is the engine brake so up is high and down is low. An example of when we would use that is if we are towing, say it's down a sharp decline, we're gonna to wanna to hit that on high because that's gonna slow everything down. That is a true engine brake. So basically you have 300 horsepower coming back at you. Here is the engine fan. This locks the differential. And here's where we turn the four wheel drive on. As we come on down, climate control located here. In addition to that, if we can see this gauge right here, now there is air hooked up to the hitch. So if you do get, for an example, a Hensley hitch, you can adjust the air, see that go right there. That is designed to go to the hitch. Fire extinguisher located right here. Sure. What year is this truck and is it pre-death? It is a 2006 
and it is pre-death. So that's an advantage in itself. So you don't have to worry about uh, all the things in terms of the death goes. This is pre-death. So as I said, a very unique truck that we have on the market today. This is stock number 5U220310. For any other questions, please give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.